welcome back to my latest baby trapping video. Today is going to be a count overview of my current baby trap setup. Uh, you probably saw in my latest video that I did take a big, big rally, unfortunately, and, uh, well, an offline big rally, and I did lose a bunch of troops, so I lost 2.7 million troops dead. I was left with only 3.8 million. Um, basically, I lost my whole front line and my uh, tier one cav as well. Um, so after that, I was kind of just doing some thinking. I was like, oh, maybe I'll just try a different baby trap build because I got a bunch of videos with this uh, certain setup. I know it works really well, so I wanted to try out a new build. And I'll kind of show you what my uh, new build is and what my current stats are and what my setup for that build is going to be. Um, so I'll, I'll go into that right now. So my current uh, troops right now is 4.1 million archers and 1.2 million uh, tier 2 gladiators. I also have about... 100,000 tier 1 grunts. I might put that up a little bit depending on how many infirmaries I have. Um, that's just to reduce uh, losses on smaller hits from tier 3 players. I will be looking to cap low tier 4 players again. But for this one, I am not going to build any cav. I know it's probably a bad idea. Uh, infantry hits will still do a lot of damage to me, but I'm going to try it out. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually boost up. Uh, I don't know how many more gladiators... Um, I do have like 88k gems still, and um, I will uh, basically get some resources transfer, some speed ups transfer over here from selling resources, so I should be able to get enough to get, I don't know, like 1.6 million tier 2 gladiators, I think, and I might go a little more, more archers. I'm not sure how many speed ups I have right now. Let's just kind of check that out. Um, yeah, unfortunately I can't use the 24 hours for... Uh, uh, gladiators right now. If I uh, took away these infirmaries and built more uh, barracks, I could do that, but uh, I'm going to have to see about that because I could just save them from healing um, and then just uh, basically sell my resources for some 15-hour speed-ups, and that's usually what I do for this account. Um, I did boost some troops uh, when the uh, double speed-up thing was going on, but I ran out of resources, so I need to bring my uh, alt account over to this world to give myself the resources and sell some of the other resources for my hyper and uh, the thing that's what I'm going to do. So anyways, I still have a bunch of speed ups left, but um, I'll probably just use the ones from my other account uh, or the resources from my other account to basically buy those up. And oh, actually, my Snow Queen just finished, actually. So um, my Snow Queen is actually up to purple. So I'll show you my wall. And these are the heroes that I'll be running on my wall. And this is the reason why I'm going to try out the, uh, the uh, two type thing is because I won't have any cab heroes. So I... I don't have any cav heroes. I have basically three gold heroes, two of them infantry, and two of them uh, range. Um, the other one, my Snow Queen, is I just got the purple, and I don't know how far away I am from gold, but purple's still pretty good. I Yeah, I'm still 100 uh, medals away from uh, gold. Um, yeah, so I'll have the uh, hopefully four gold heroes on my wall, but they'll be infantry range. So I was like, should I even have cav? Because, I mean, the amount of, amount of um, damage I can do with that is... I don't know. Uh, well, I'll see how it goes, because I, I know two types can be, um, it was called, countered by throwing a bunch of infantry at you, just like infantry blast. But uh, if I have enough infantry and enough range, that might not matter. I'm not looking to cap any, like, hundred, like, billion might players or anything on this account. This account will be, like, I don't know, 28 mil might. That's kind of where I'll be sticking around. I'll be under 30 mil. It'll still be a baby trap. Um, so this is my current gear setup. Um, obviously at level uh, 60 I can go much higher. I've already started with the uh, Dragon Talons and I, I've got them the blue already. I'm not sure what I need to get those up to purple. Let's just see. Probably a lot. Yeah, because I just got them the blue so I don't even have a purple yet. Um, so that would be a long time probably before I get that. Um, the ring, I'll probably keep the ring. Uh, the, the armor, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the armor yet. But I do have a green fireball plate so that would be level 60. Um, I might go, uh, what's it called, uh, where was that thing? One second, I gotta find it. Um, it is Helldrider. So I'm thinking once I hit level 60, I'll go blue Skull Crusher, because I actually had a gold brain if you missed that stream. I, I did get a gold brain from a drop, and that will allow me to get almost a purple uh, Dark Ages as well. So I could go purple Dark Ages with a blue Skull Crusher. Um, but I might get the might get the Dark Ages first, or the other option is go Scimitar, because um, that gives the eleven and a half percent. Where's the one second? I haven't started to build it. Let me let me find it. 
Um, here it is, Scimitar, yeah. So that gives me 9% uh, range and 11.5% army HP. So that is also another uh, another option. Um, I don't believe I have anything else I could go at level 60. Let's see if I have anything. Can I get a Codex? Oh, wait, I can get a green Codex too. Oh, so at level 60, I can get a green, but I mean, eh, Cav HP doesn't do anything. Um, especially since I am going to have no Cav in my... Uh, my setup so uh, that's also another option but my current setup is this that's my current setup i'll show you what my stats are with this gear um yes the jewels are very good um so my my cab attack is still gonna be quite high um actually no i'm gonna show you my talents first so if you i, I know a lot of people tell me oh you forget to show talents but i'm like it's basically your talents are based on what you need in stats and for this this build i needed army hp because i get none from my talents because i'm only level 16 um not talents, my, uh, my research, because I'm a level 16, I got no army attack, no army HP, so I just get the, uh, the, uh, type IP HP, so I'm very low in HP, so obviously max out squad health, that'll give me a bunch, um, range three, um, infantry three as well, what do they get, they gave 53% attack, then I also maxed out infantry two, which gives 10%, and range two, and then I got the squad HP that gives me another 13%. So that puts me at 100% army HP for my talents. And then I got the infantry up to max here because just in case the infantry blast comes, I want to have more attack on my infantry. So that gives me the number seven. And then I got about 3.5% from range. If I go up another level, I can max out the range because I'm only level 57. So if I hit 58, I can max out the range. So... This is also going to depend on what level your baby trap is at. I'm obviously been playing a little longer, so, and I have like 50 million kills, so that that gives you a lot of HP experience. And no, I haven't accepted any turf quests, so all my experience is coming from kills and like where it's called killing monsters and stuff like that. And then the, obviously the squad HP, squad attack. So that's another five percent there. So if I look at my actual stats, you can see what they are. Um, currently, I'm at 191 infantry, 187 ranged. And 113% cab, but I got no cab. So uh, this is just going to be a test to see how this comp does. Um, I know the other comp works. So if I ever need to, I just build some cavalry. So that's that's quite easy. Um, I won't have to get rid of anything. I just build more cav. That's basically all I need to do. And my army HP is at 112% um, because I can't actually unlock the uh, the army HP from my, uh, my uh, what's it called? What is this, what is this thing called? Research, because I'll show you my research too. So military, if you're looking to build this, I'm a level seven, level 16 castle. So my military is as follows. Seven is the highest you can go. Um, you need level, let's see, level 18 academy to go any higher. So I obviously can't get that. Um, I do have infantry defense and infantry HP up to seven. Uh, my ranged defense and uh, cav defense are at four. I didn't actually technically need to do those because they're not my front line if i ever decide to go can i actually go dual front i not actually check no i can't go dual front line because i think you need level 17 castle to get phalanx yes so i have to be infantry phalanx as a level 16 castle there's no choice in that so the uh range defense and cavalry defense are kind of useless but they give like i don't know like ten thousand might between the two of them so it's not a big deal um so yeah so if if you're going to go this, go max your offense, max your infantry defense and your HP. Unfortunately, you cannot get the army because you need level 17 castle because you need to be able to lock tier 3 first. So that's basically it for your, your research. Um, in, intelligence report is just because on this trap, I do attack a lot. So I want to know who has leaders for me to actually uh, take. And I believe uh, level 5... Yeah, indicates the leader is in target in the castle. So that's basically all I want to know is, is there a leader in the castle? If so, I'm going to attack them and get the leader, and that's what's going to get people to attack me. Um, I do go in the Fury a lot in this castle. Um, I mean, sure, it's dangerous, but it is what it is. I usually don't get into trouble on that. I'm usually not in a kingdom where I would get in trouble anyways, because if there's a bunch of big Tier 4 players who could zero me, I'm probably not even going to be in that kingdom in the first place, because there's no point in me being there. I'm just going to get destroyed. Um, so I always find, try and find smaller kingdoms. My current kingdom's getting a little too big, so I might have to move soon. Um, I might miss KVK this time, so hopefully you guys you have a good KVK. Um, I don't think I can get into KVK just because I don't have enough infirmaries. I only have 
63,000 infirmary space. Um, so that'd be some really small hits for me to take. Um, cause I could, I could boost the troops. I could move my count over, transfer the, uh, speed ups and all that. And then, and then get, get the, uh, what's called, uh, troops ready. But I don't know if I can get the infirmaries ready. I'll, I'll see. I only have like one day to do this. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of cutting it close and, uh, I've been kind of slacking. So we'll see what happens. Um, what else did I want to show you? I guess I'll just show you my overall stats. So. I am currently at, what, 49 mil? Oh, 49 mil. So almost 50 million kills. Um, I guess some of them are actually traps destroyed because I do attack a lot. But that's my current stats. If people are thinking, wondering if I'm a trap, um, they just look at my stats and they'll tell them if I'm, that I'm a trap. But most people don't look at my stats because I'm too low and I'm level 16 castle, so people just don't bother. So, yeah. So if people actually looked at my stats, they never hit me because I got 529 successful defenses and 29 losses. That's it. So that's if that's not a trap, I don't know what is at that point. Um, yeah, so I've, I'm just over the 1 billion might destroy it on this account because um, tier 3 and whatever don't uh, not as much as tier four. So if that was tier four, that'd be much higher. But, uh, since I take a lot of tier three, my might, the might destroys lower for the kills. And then my total might here, my troops is 18 million buildings is 325,000 quest is 25. Cause they made me accept that at the beginning. Um, research is 411,000. So all my research combined is only 400,000 might. Um, the biggest things that aren't troops are obviously the player level, which you can't really do much about for that might because you need the player levels and then hero armies which is my heroes that's because i almost have four gold heroes um so that's basically that and then oh yeah gear i guess that's my gear um fiery tomahawk gold um bunch of jewels purple um if you're wondering how we got the purple is because i was in my main guild for a while so you get a lot of guild coins and i bought chests so if you're if you're wondering how to get all these jewels Make sure you're spending all your guild coins on uh, jewel chests in the uh, store. Don't buy anything else, like relocators and stuff. Use gems to do that because it's much more efficient to use the uh, guild coins on the jewel chests. Either jewel chests or migration schools. That's all you should ever spend them on. Um, so that's my Rot Lost Ion Relic. Uh, Indulgent Visage. Yes, I do have a lot of Cav purple jewels, but like I said, that's because I had Cav before, but now I don't. Um, and I probably will build a cab again at one point. I'm just going to test out this build and then Grammy plate, uh, mostly cause it has a bunch of infantry stats on there, which are good for this trap. It's got infantry attack, infantry max HP. Um, so it's basically army HP for me cause I don't have any other front lines. So you, if you're looking for to build a, uh, what the build on traps, infantry HP is awesome. It's basically army HP for you cause you don't have two more than one phalanx. And then honeycomb traps are my current one. Once I hit 60, I will switch to the Dragon Talons, but that will be a long time because, like I said, I am not accepting my turf quests. So uh, the EXP is a little bit lower than it normally would be. Um, if you're looking to boost troops on these on these counts, um, it's very important to have lots of lots of barracks. Currently, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to use any 24-hour speed ups, you probably will need around seven or eight. I can't, I can't remember the exact number. Um, if you want to use 15 hour speed ups for your tier two, you probably only need five. Um, I was, I boost, I made, I made another one of these ones just for the, uh, boosted, um, speed ups. Cause they were giving you what, like 18 hours for a 15 hour. So I made sure I could, I had 18 hours worth of speed ups and that put me at around, oh wait, I don't have my talents on. That's why, um, with talents is around 19 hours with six of them with the, uh, with these, I mean, obviously you can get rid of infirmaries and put it lower. Or if you want to use 24 hour speed ups, take these out and build more barracks. That will allow you to use the 24 hours at the most efficient uh, speed up for building troops. And then tier one troops, obviously it's less. Um, it'd be like 12 hours or something at that point. Um, but for, yeah, so for tier two, it's it's more efficient to use the 15 hours. For tier one, you still have to use the eight hours because it won't be a fit, you won't have enough speed. So anyways, so... As a level 16 trap or level 16, you're you're do you're uh, forced to do that just because the max is only 1100 per barracks. So you need way more barracks than if you were level 25, where you'd only need like two or three. Okay, so that's that. And let's see what the other thing we wanted to talk about. I think that was everything. I went gear, talents, troop comp, which is basically just tier two glads and tier one archers. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, 
the uh, heroes, which were basically two infantry heroes, Demon Slayer and Oathkeeper, and then the two range heroes, Bobby Goblin, which is also army attack, and Snow Queen, which is range. And I have no, uh, I don't have, uh, what's her face? Uh, Rose Knight unlocked yet. I probably could try for that. It's just hard to unlock it with only a couple heroes like I have. But anyways, uh, so yeah, because I don't actually need attacking level 7 rank. Or I do need level 7 rank, but I don't need level 8. So actually, hmm, interesting. I don't even have my Snow Queen up to level 7 yet. So I need to, I need to work on that so I can actually get the uh, range attack. I'll, 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 I should work on that right now, actually. What do I need? Let's see. Uh, missing this. Oh, I haven't even got there, so that's probably why I haven't got it. Anyways, I gotta work on that. Um, but yeah, you want to get them at the level, the rank seven, just so you get the attack as well. Um, so I think that's everything. I hope you guys have a great KBK. I will have some more videos coming out next week. I do have a bunch saved up. I do have a full rally that my main took um, and basically ate the whole thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, that might be next week. I might have uh, what else? What I have. I've got a bunch of baby trap clips. I got some thousand IQ traps. I'll have more stuff from KVK from my main because my main is still ready. Um, maybe I'll have some from this baby trap in this KVK, but um, you probably won't see these clips for another month or so because I still have to use the old clips that that I got a couple months ago. So, um, so hopefully uh, you like that. I might have some more streams coming up. Um, I'm currently playing Kingdoms of Heckfire as well. So if you guys want to join uh, my guild, I will also leave the link in the description below just so you can join that. Um, I think that's everything. I hope you guys uh, have a great KVK, and I'll see you guys next time.